And we begin with a Fox News alert. Almost one century after chemical weapons were banned by the civilized world after their horrific use in World War I, we are sadly witnessing another suspected chemical attack in Syria. Activists say at least 40 people were killed, hundreds wounded, in a targeted attack on a hospital in a rebel-held city east of Damascus. A short time ago, I ordered the United States Armed Forces to launch precision strikes on targets associated with the chemical weapons capabilities of Syrian dictator Bashar al-Assad. What's your evidence it was delivered by the Syrian regime? Are you quite clear it was? I, I am confident the Syrian regime conducted a chemical attack on innocent people uh, in, in this last, uh, last week, yes. This was a comprehensive study, any way you look at it. These engineers, experts, accounted for almost everything. They apparently visited the locations, saw all the images, the videos, simulated the physical properties of the canisters, concrete, steel supports, rebars. Everything they could account for, they did, it seems. Here's what they found. At one location, the crater and the chemical canister, simply put, didn't match. Instead, the crater appears to have been caused by an explosive shell before or after. And the canister, the impact crater, just don't match. When a metal can falls through a concrete roof and steel supports, you'd expect it to leave marks, indents, but no consistent marks were found. At another location, the canisters say the authors simply couldn't have fit through the impact crater, with the valve still intact. The only explanation for all of this, the experts state, is that they were placed there. If you do have a group, and they call it the military industrial complex, they never want to leave, they always want to fight. No, I don't want to fight.